y'all. Welcome to tonight's What's for Dinner. I'm going to be making a taco baked casserole. So I've got about a pound and a half of hamburger meat here that I'm going to put in my pan. And I'm going to add some onions. I diced them up with my little chopper. I'm going to throw them. Let me start breaking this meat up. It's still, actually it is still a little bit frozen, y'all. Thought I thawed it out, but. So I'm gonna kinda work at breaking that meat up a little better. I'm gonna go ahead and season up this meat with a little salt and pepper. And I'm gonna put a little garlic powder in there because I love garlic on everything. So anyways, I'm going to continue to brown this meat and then I will come back and show y'all what we're gonna do next. Okay y'all, the meat is about is done. So um, it calls for a package of taco seasoning. I do not have it, I use this Fiesta taco seasoning, and I'm going to put two tablespoons. I just think it would be good. And then also a cup of water. I'm going to stir that up. Kind of let that cook for a couple minutes. Okay, hey, y'all, I'm going to turn this fan down for a minute. Um, I'm going to add one can of refried beans. I just have the traditional Old El Paso brand. And I'm going to try to get all that in here. Just trying to mash these beans in here a little better. And then it called for a four ounce can of diced green chilies, but I don't have any. The other day I accidentally bought these diced jalapeno peppers, but I'm not gonna put all of them in there. I'm gonna put some of them in, because they're hot, and I know if I get it too hot, then everybody's not gonna wanna eat it. So I think I'm gonna put about half of them. I strain the juice out, and then the other half, I will just leave out if anybody wants to add it. So we're going to mix that in there. It also called for black olives, but we don't like black olives, none of us. And so I'm not going to add that. I also need to add a half a cup of salsa, which is what I'm fixing to do next. And I bought this, um, the Great Value Thick and Chunky Salsa to use. So I've got a half a cup of that. I'm going to add in. Mix that all together. And we're just going to kind of let this get warmed through so these beans will mix in well. And then we're going to put it in our casserole pan, which I'll show you what we're going to do in it in just a minute. Also, I know it doesn't really go with it, but I'm making some baked potatoes in my pressure cooker. I showed how I do those on, I think it was a week Either last week or the week before, I cannot remember when I showed me making those. So, um, I'm just going to make some of those to go along on the side because I love baked potatoes and I have been in a baked potato mood. So, let this heat just a little bit longer and then I'll come right back. Okay, y'all, I have a 9 by 13 inch pan. I'm going to spray it with some just cooking spray and... Um, the recipe called for about 15 taco shells broken up, but I don't have taco shells, so I'm just going to use some tortilla chips. And so it says to place half of the taco shells in the bottom of the pan. So I'm just going to kind of crush some chips <laughs> and throw them in the bottom. Just guessing what I think would be the amount. Kind of cover it at the bottom. And 
we're going to put about half of the meat mixture over this. I probably do need a spoon. And the recipe, the recipe calls for two cups, so I'm just going to kind of guess what one cup is. It says to put half of it, so we're just going to kind of guesstimate. <laughs> that looks good. And then we're going to put another layer of chips. Oops, I'm going to chip on the floor. That'll be, well, I'll put a little bit more over here. Now we're going to put the rest of the meat mixture over this. And now it says to, of course, do some more cheese. And then we're going to bake it in a preheated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. My oven is preheated to 350. And we're going to be, we're going to heat it until the cheese is melted and bubbly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and we'll got it all done. And my potatoes are almost done. Once this gets to the zero, I let it do the natural pressure release for about five minutes and then I release the rest of the pressure and take them out. So we have about seven minutes until those are done. So, yep. And we will come back in just a little bit and let you know what everybody thinks. Hey y'all, tonight we're gonna make armadillo eggs. I bought these at the meat market and they were already prepared um, and I'm going to uh, cook them on my Hamilton Beach indoor grill. I just have it right now on sear and these are very easy to make. You just take chicken breast and you will cut them up into pieces. Use um, whatever seasoning you like. I'm not sure what they use but they come seasoned and you'll cut up some jalapeno peppers Just slice them up and wrap a piece of bacon. I think it's about a half a piece of bacon. Wrap it around them, and then you just grill them until they're done. Um, we really like these, and I like buying them already made up. I mean, yeah, they would be easy to make yourself, but it's really convenient to just pick them up, and the seasoning that they use is very good. So we're gonna just get these all on here, and we're gonna cook them until they are done. And y'all, this indoor grill is a game changer. I love this. I got it for Christmas a while back from my mother-in-law. It really comes in handy like in the winter months when you don't want to go outside or just when you don't want to turn on the grill. So we are going to let these cook up. And this week we've been kind of making easy and quick things. So for our side dish, I'm just going to make a box of macaroni and cheese, which you'll see me show you in just a minute. Look at those y'all, they are so good. Got everything done and I just thought I'd show you I was setting up everything over here on our little island. Me and the kids have been eating over here a lot more. It's just easier to clean up. I don't know, Just it just is very comfy and easy. <laughs> so now I'm fixing to get everybody in here. Children, let us know what you think. What do you think? Me and Courtney are actually using this yum yum sauce because I don't know. I just thought I should buy it. Bryce was talking about it this morning. 
And what do you think? He wasn't wanting this. He was wanting meatballs, meatloaf balls, but I made these. It's okay. Okay. It's just me and the kids tonight. What do you think about it, Adrian? He doesn't like the peppers, though. Oh, and last night's supper was good. We just had a little distraction and didn't record. <laughs> we forgot. What did we have last night? The taco, that taco casserole. Oh, Aunt yeah. Bryce didn't care for it, but don't like he don't like tacos. So, no, anyways. I, I wasn't hungry. Yep, I'm just about done. But we just wanted to let y'all know. So, these would, you could make at home really easily. Just cut up some chicken breast. Take some jalapeno peppers, wrap some bacon around it, boom, grill it. They put some kind of seasoning. I don't even know what it is, but it comes with seasoning already put, on it. Put whatever seasoning yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Okay, y'all, tonight we're going to make a skillet ranch chicken. This is such an easy recipe. Okay, y'all, I have um, some chicken breast, and I'm going to cut these up into small pieces. Uh, my daughter was telling me I shouldn't have cut them as small as I did. I thought that they were good like that because they cooked pretty quick. But you can cut them up in, I guess, whatever size that you would like. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm going to cut these up. I'm putting them in a bowl. And then uh, I will come back in just a minute with the next steps. And y'all, anytime I work with chicken, I always clean the surface area with Clorox bleach spray. I also wash my hands, which I did before this, and then I'm gonna go run and wash them again before I even move on to the next step. Okay, y'all, now we are going to take the chicken that I've, cut, blah, blah, that I've cut up, and I have some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna put one tablespoon of that into the chicken. And then we are going to take one package of ranch seasoning mix. Um, the recipe said two tablespoons, but I just used a whole package. I'm gonna put that in there, and then we're gonna mix it up real well. I started with like a little set of tongs. I tried shaking it up. I realized the tongs, I think, worked a little bit better than trying to shake it with the lid on, but we're gonna do that. And then we'll head over to our pan, which I'm using my, um, stainless steel pan I put a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in there and then we're gonna put the chicken in and I cook this on kind of medium high heat and I forgot that this pan cooks kind of quick so you will see in a little bit it looks like the bottom of my pan is burnt but I think it's just the stainless steel pan because the chicken was not burnt at all and um, luckily I used that new Dawn power wash stuff and it cleaned it off real good so that's what we're gonna do now and I got it all ready over here. I got the chicken. I made some of these Idaho applewood smoked bacon that you just microwave the water. They're really good for a quick, easy meal. And then I have lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers, and all of the sides, or not sides, all of the toppings for salad. And that is gonna be our meal right here, y'all. So I'll get with the kids and let you know what we think. It is so good. She loved it. What about you, Bross? It's great. I'm just eating some it sauce. is really I'll good. I put it in yum yum sauce. Yeah, me and him are using this yum yum sauce, and it actually tastes really good. Courtney was using ranch, but actually, you could eat it just plain, even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know what? This would be good with maybe like some pasta that. So like, one thing. I don't know. One thing I recommend doing is making them not as small because it's just harder to eat. You have to like, <laughs> stick your fork in it. I think you should you like make a little chunks. With the fork oh wow! Because it. if it's I, bigger, I, you don't have to poke your fork. No, fork in it. you can pick it up easy. <laughs> Just make them into chunks. Because <laughs> I made them kind of small, but I wanted them small. Do you like? What it, about Adrian? you, Adrian? Yeah, it's very good. Well, thank y'all so much. This we're actually eating this for lunch. I was gonna do this last night, but we were having bad weather, weren't we, Adrian? Tornadoes. We were having tornado warnings, and it kind of distracted me from cooking, so I didn't have enough time to really do it. And I, so we had little chicken patties that uh, they're good. Yeah, we made little chicken burgers last night. They were just the tossing chicken patties. So that's what we did. That was really good. And so this is our lunch today, which was going to be supper last night. And as you saw, these little um, instant potatoes are really good and easy. And so, anyways, um, thank y'all so much for watching this week's what's for dinner. Uh huh. And we make appreciate sure, you. Make sure you come back next Friday for another What's Food in there. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and go to her, in, her, to her Instagram at Kim's Farmhouse, Kim's underscore Farmhouse Life, right? Yeah. Uh -huh.
And make sure you subscribe, like, and turn the post notifications on. That's, that's too much. My mom, all of my mom is <laughs> videos. <my mom. laughs> Any last words? <laughs> bye. That's my last word. Okay, bye, bye cutie. <laughs> bye, my fans. I'm still happy. They're all, they're all bad. Bye. Yeah.